So I've told you that from time to time, people send me products to review. Well, evidently there is someone out there that thinks my clothes are dirty because they sent me a portable washing machine. You heard that right, a portable washing machine. It's by a company called Robsom, and that's what we're gonna check out in this video. If you're new here, my name is Jeff, and this is a clean shirt, and this is Jeff Reviews for you. I review a whole lot of products. I specialize in reviewing as seen on TV items. Every once in a while, I do a little bit of a DIY just because I like to. If that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click the bell below. That way you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. One more thing, don't forget to check down the description for my social media, Instagram and Twitter. I would love it if you would follow me there too. Now let's take a closer look at this portable washing machine with sort of like a dryer thing and see if it's any good. Once we take this out of the box, we see it's pretty compact. It's just a simple little wash machine. Around the back we have our plug tied up and then here we have our drain tube just connected here. If we look inside, we see two things. We see a water line on this side. I guess that's for an input. And then maybe this is for the rinse or spin part of the washing machine. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read through the directions and we're gonna test this out. Here we go, we are ready for our first test of this portable washer and sort of dryer. They do have this tube that you can use which you would connect to a faucet and then you could hook it up right here to the inlet and all that does is let the water flow into here except my faucet doesn't adapt to this. I'll show you. This is my faucet. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add warm water into the basin. The directions say do not use hot water because that could potentially deform the plastic. I have the water filled up about three quarters of the way. It doesn't tell you in the directions how high you're supposed to go, but I just really filled it as high as this venting started. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go prep my shirt and wash it. So I know this is nasty, but sometimes this happens when I sweat. I get some ring around the collar and I'm gonna put some soap right on here and scrub it together and add a little bit more soap and put it in the basin. Because this is much smaller than my typical wash load, I'm only using about a quarter of the one line. If you can see the one line here, just because I don't wanna have too much suds. First things first, like I said, I'm gonna pour this across the neckline here and do a little hand scrub. I would do this with a regular wash load just the same, so I wanna make sure I give this Equal opportunity to get this thing clean. So I just scrub the collar a little. Now that I'm happy with scrubbing, I'm gonna put my shirt in, dunk it in the water, add the rest of the detergent, and start this up. I'm gonna leave this on standard and the, turn the timer to 15 minutes. You could automatically hear this thing start to spin. Here you can see in the middle of the wash load, it is doing a lot of agitation, spinning back and forth, left and right. I like that this basin is clear because I can see what's going on. Here's what it looks like as the wash is washing. Now you might notice these vents. What I'm thinking happens is that this water spills over into the vents and immediately drops into the drain line. Here's what I was talking about, that it's spinning out of the drain even in the middle of the wash cycle, thus catching the overflow. At the end of the 15 minutes, it was kind of anticlimactic. This went all the way around. There was no ding, there was no buzzer. It just ended. Anyway, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna turn the center dial to drain so we can start draining the unit itself. You wanna be sure to have the hose connected securely because mine shot out of the sink, but I caught it pretty quickly and now it just drains what's in the basin. Just finished draining and as you can see, this is still full of suds, which kind of worries me, but we're supposed to take this out and put it in the other basin, which is like the spin basin. So we're gonna put this over here, squeeze in the topper, push it down, and then set this one for five minutes. Whoa, that is definitely some high speed action here. To save time, since I know I'm gonna have to rinse this again, I'm actually filling up the washer basin while the spinning basin here is spinning because I'm supposed to put this back over here, not add any more soap. That soap in there is still from the first time, 
but I'm guessing I'm gonna have to rinse it a few times before the water turns clear. So this timer just clicked and it's stopping the unit. Boy, is that shaking. So now I'm gonna open this up, drop the shirt back in here, let it rinse again and redo the whole process. We've just finished our first spin through cycle and it looks like the neck is a lot clearer and cleaner. I like that. So it looks like it's working. Now I'm gonna put this back in here, let it run through the rinse cycle again and then spin it. Back to the full 15 minutes. We are on standard. There it goes. A little pro tip between washes. What I have now is I have the drain opened and I'm just rinsing this out to get all the soap out because the last time I washed and rinsed, there was still a lot of soap and then I had to re-rinse. And so this way I can cut down on the amount of times I rinse because I'm rinsing out all the soap. We've now finished spinning for the third time. This is the final time I think because the water was pretty clear. Let's take a look at the collar. I think it looks pretty clear. Well, this little washer passed the first test, but then again, it was just washing one shirt. I'm gonna try it on some more items, but first I would love to hear from you. What are your thoughts of these portable washers? Would you use one? Have you? Let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. So we're back outside. We already know that this cleans, right? Since I cleaned my other shirt. Now we're gonna see realistically how much can I clean? So I have two shirts and two pairs of pants. So right over here is where my discharge bucket is. And I have that line just tied in here just because. I'm gonna put some clothes in here and I'm just gonna use my garden hose because if we're out camping, we might not have all the luxuries of a spout. So I'm just gonna use the hose and fill it in that way. To start this out, we're gonna fill the basin again up with water, at least halfway. Once that is filled up halfway, I'm gonna add the clothes. Let's add a little more water and then our soap. I'm only gonna add a fraction of the amount of soap that I added yesterday because, well, I just had so much soap to deal with. Now to start the washer and let this clean. We just spun it around and started the washer and there goes the machine. Let's check back in in a little bit. Although it's still spinning, it's definitely not spinning as well as it did when it only had one item. I guess that's just what you get when you have more clothes in there. I had to move the drain bucket to the ground because it's not like a typical washer where it pumps out. This actually needs gravity to help it flow. It was just holding it in there, it would not drain. So my wash is done, but this is what worries me because this stuff is still pretty wet and that basin to spin is not very large. It's like half the size of the washer. Like right now I've just put my two shirts in and it's full. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rinse these for five minutes and then put my pants in for five minutes after that. The shirts just stopped spinning, so I'm gonna take them out. And I will say they're not completely dry, but then again, they're not as wet as they were before. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take these pants, which are almost dripping wet, stick them in the little spin thing. I don't know if I can get both of them in there. And, and when these are spinning, I'm gonna put the shirts back in this basin and rinse them out again so when they're done rinsing they can switch over here and i'll be done with them put our lid on top on this side close it down start the spin to five minutes fill this one up with water and we're going to let this rinse now for five minutes too and then switch them again whenever i start the washer up again i always forget to turn this back off of drain and so my water's filling up and at the same pace that it's filling up it's draining i'm wondering what's going on so i'll always remember to put that back so it does not drain this did not have a five minute mark it was zero three six so i put it between the three and the six hoping that's around four or five minutes i will say even stuffed in there like these pants were they still are just as dry as the shirts were this thing does a pretty good job of extracting that water now to put the shirts in here re-rinse the pants and repeat that same process so i'm going to test out the spin cycle here and i did not even drain these pants 
that they are still soaking wet. And I'm going to stick them right in here and see how they do, see how dry they get at the end. Let's check them out in about five minutes. Oh, you know what? They're pretty dry. I thought that they would still be damp and I would have to do this again. That's pretty impressive. I will say the machine towards the last minute or so was shaking a lot. In this video, we took a look at a portable washing machine. I was able to find it on Amazon and as per the filming of this video, it retails for about a hundred bucks. So what did I think of it? First things first, does it wash clothes? Well, yes, it does. Uh, you saw that I was able to wash one of my shirts and then I washed two pants and two shirts and I'm out, I've done towels and all sorts of other things. I ran about 20 different loads through this just to see how the machine would work over time. And it washed everything. It's a semi-automated machine. And what that means is you do not set this and forget it and go. You are very much involved in the washing of this, well, whether it's changing water or moving items from one take to another and then back, making sure the machine doesn't fall over. So there is some labor involved, just so you know that. A main feature of this washing machine is that it's portable. So that makes it great for those dorm lives or apartments that don't have washers, van lives or RV lives or et cetera, et cetera. Those are the kind of things that this would really benefit. Definitely would not replace your home washing machine. I will say there were some things I noticed about it. Um, it definitely shook a lot and there's a few times I was worried it was going to fall right off the table so be careful with that. Also the drain hose, I ended up just dropping it right to the floor, not even in a bucket when I was outside because it just wouldn't pump up and through and I noticed that it was just labored trying to drain out of the base and such. So if I just dropped on the ground that gravity flowed just right down and out. Just some things that I noted when I was using this. Anyway, if this is something that interests you, I will leave a link down in the description. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day. It's important to always watch this because sometimes you might get an uneven load, like right now, and the machine might start to move. You just don't want it to fall off the table. I will say it is pretty quick at extracting the water and therefore stabilizing the machine, but always keep an eye on it just in case. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review of the portable washing machine. I should say that some items take a really long time to dry, such as towels. My clothes tend to dry pretty quick, but just so you know, the other things may take longer to dry. On the subject of cleaning, you should not neglect the front of your house or the outside of your house. And so there's a product I reviewed not that long ago that's meant to clean the outside of your house and it's called 30 Second Cleaner. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link that review right up here and I would love it if you would click on this link. And when you do, by the magic of the internet, I'm gonna join you at that review. So go ahead, click it, it's safe, I promise.